hello everybody actually we are looking for numbers uh, square numbers least square number as well as the greatest square number okay so what they are asking us that find find least number least number which when subtracted okay which when subtracted the resulting number is a perfect square subtracted from 796 the resulting number should be a perfect square the resulting number should be a perfect square should be a perfect square now have a look find the least number which when subtracted from 796 this clearly indicates that 796 is not a perfect number is not a square number so when it is not a square number let us see let us see so find the least number which when subtracted so when you will subtract that part the number naturally the square number will be smaller than this however let us first see whether 796 is a square number or not of course it's not a square number because until and unless you subtract it will not be a square number so 796 we shall be going for the division method which is a quicker method so what was taught in the previous session first group it from back in pairs start from 2 set from 7 so 2 2 times 2 2 times 4 you cannot take 3 because 3 3 times will become 9 let's subtract 7 minus 4 3 9 6 this 2 should be added over here 4 and as i said that please keep a number beside 4 and multiply with the same number so that you get this particular number 396 so 48 8 times how much 8 8 are 16 64 uh, and 8 fours are 32 38 well here we get 12 as a remainder okay here we get 12 8 plus 8 16 and 5 you need in to add over here because it's useless waste of time now here i find that the else the remainder is 12 so our our quotient generated was 28 28 was our quotient and 12 remains now if this 12 remains i think that if i subtract 12 from 796 then in that case it will be a perfect square because when we found out square this extra 12 came out so when we subtract this 12 from the number 796 then that particular number would become a perfect square so which number should be subtracted this particular remainder should be subtracted a remainder let me mention it remainder remainder 12 should be subtracted should be subtracted okay no issue at all come on similarly let us take one more number okay 1886 1886 and they are asking us the same that is not a perfect square so what do you think that if you want to make a perfect square it should be subtracted by which number so the remainder let us find the square root come on so how much 4 4 times 16 of course i will take 4 4 times only i cannot take 4 5 5 times 4 4 times 16 remainder how much remainder is my 2 this 86 will come down 86 will come down 4 should be added over here 4 plus 4 8 and then here i'll have to put such a number so that when i multiply it with itself i'll get how much 3 3 is a 9 8 3 is a 
so my remainder will be 37 my remainder will be 37 and this extra extra you can say this extra should be subtracted from 1886 to make it a perfect square okay so my answer or you can say solution would be 37 should be subtracted I hope you people have understood this now find the least number which we which when subtracted now here in the next problem we have find the greatest number which when sub which when added to not greatest number least number which when added to 796 okay let us look at what they are asking about list number to be added this was list the previous was list number to be subtracted here we have list number to be added uh -huh. so list number least number to be to be added okay to make it a perfect square to make it a perfect square so they have already said that this is this 511 511 is not a perfect square 511 is not a perfect square okay so what should you add in 511 to make it a perfect square so naturally the number will be bigger than 511 the the uh, number obtained will be greater than 511 so first let us work on its square root so if i find that on grouping it in twos or your pairs from the back two how many times two two times four when you subtract you will get one here one 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 this two should be added over here and then as usual we will we are going to put a number beside it such that beside it such that when we will multiply by the same number we will we should get a number closer to 111 so 42 2 times what we are going to get equal to 84 and when we subtract it we will get 27 fine now so it is very clear that it is very clear that 22 was the quotient obtained and at the end 27 remained this 27 should be subtracted from 511 but here they are asking us what should be added this means the number the the actual number the actual number is more than more than 22 whole square simple 22 whole square means the number is your number is 20 23 whole square so 23 whole square is equal to how much so 23 whole square is your 529 this was actually they wanted this particular number 529 because this 23 is a number just next to 22 therefore what are you going to add but what was the number given the number given was 511 so what should you add the number added should be 529 minus 511 so the difference of 529 and 511 will give you 18 and this is the number which should be added to 525 to 511 to make it 529 which is a perfect square i hope this was loud and clear similarly when you get a number like 7172 7 the same type similar type 7172 and you are asked the same thing you quickly what do you do you work on its square you work on its square root so see have a look 8 how many times 8 I hope you people are able to see 8 8 times 64 subtract it what will you get you will get uh, you 64 here you will get 7 72 will come down this 72 will come down you will have to 
add 8 over here, 8 plus 8, 16. Put a number over here, just beside 8, and see that what see that you obtain a number very close to 772. So I find that I am going to get a number how much 4 4 times 16 656 656 656 okay so 656 and the remainder is 116 okay now it's very clear that the number my actual number the actual number the actual number is more than is more than 84 square hmm? when the actual number is more than 84 square means the number is our number is 85 square so what is 85 square 85 square is 7225 well so what is the required number what should be added to 7172 to make 7225 so the number added should be the difference 7225 minus 7172 and this will give you a difference of 53 clear we should be added to 7172 7172 to make this make 7225 which is a perfect square clear I hope this was loud and clear now the for the next sums next sums which are of the same type please stay tuned and really you will find it very very interesting okay